see you again. How have you been? I wanted to stop by and say hello on Valentine's Day. And a lot of people are very gushy around this time And if you're going through a period in your life where maybe you are single I know it can be kind of rough sometimes Seeing other people make your day a little bit better. I'm wearing a very comfy floral dress. It is a maxi dress that goes all the way down to the floor. Let's get some buttons. Let me click the buttons. Let's spend some time together. focus. So mainly it's staying on my eyes. So I can put something here and then maybe if I cover my eyes, yeah, then it'll go to my hand. But mainly it's on me because the autofocus was a little crazy on my other camera. Honey, can you hear me? Is the, is the camera working, baby? Oh, hi! Hi, look at you! How are you feeling after the fight? You are dating an ASM artist, so you get to deal with the nice microphones. <laughs> well, how about we make things a little more fun? And, um, I have been experiencing some troubles. Something that I haven't really heard about online. I've been trying to research it. The camera troubles are unending. I actually tried to record a couple weeks ago when I first got this camera body and noticed the issue and I um, just kind of gave up and I went away for a couple weeks because I was too stressed out. <laughs> I've got other stuff going on right now and I was like, I am not handling this right now. Do you guys, you guys know what that's like when you have enough on your plate and something just popped up and you're like, I can't, I can't freaking do this right now. So, um, zoomed out. Oh, I, I, it's, yeah, it's zoomed out. I don't know why it's zoomed out. I always was under the impression that the lens is the thing that dictates how in or out it is. So this is the same lens that I've been using for um, a couple months now, the past two videos before this, and it is uh, a, a 24 millimeter lens whereas before I had a 16 millimeter but it was 14 millimeter so that means that it's a little more zoomed in a little more up close I have to stand a little further back to be in shot where normally if I wanted to be you know titty up <laughs> in a video I could be right up here right up to the camera but now it's well actually um, I should have to stand more for that. This okay, that's where this comes in. This camera body zooms it out like it's a different lens. So I'm gonna show you another clip. So same lens. I'm gonna put in a video 
with my other camera body, which is the Sony A7R II. Same lens, 24 millimeter lens, and you'll see that it is way more zoomed in. I will stand in the same spot, which is uh, essentially just about a foot away from my desk. Okay, friends, so this is me standing in the exact same space. Microphones, exact same space. Camera height, exact same height. Um, and this is with the Sony A7R2 with the exact same 25, 24 millimeter lens. Now, why is it so much more zoomed in? I thought the other camera was going to be this zoomed in, and I was kind of planning my setup based on that. Uh, there's also less distortion when I'm reaching towards you. I'm coming in close. Hi. Um, I'm just standing now right in front of the desk. So, same place, standing right here. A lot more zoomed in. Um, but if I come... See how my hands are, you know, normal, you know, not like Slender Man or something coming in. Um, so there's less distortion. When there's kind of a fishbowl effect, I'm experiencing a little bit of a fishbowl effect using the other camera, but the same lens. Well, it should be the same, shouldn't it? Because it's the same lens? Why would there be a fishbowl effect when it's the same lens? Because it's like rounder using the other camera. And so when that happens, your fingers and stuff look wrong. And this is more head-on, whereas with the other one, I felt like it was almost like, like a fishbowl, right? It was like rounded a little bit, right? Kind of curved. The image is a bit distorted. I have to stand back, like right here, <laughs> among the lights, <laughs> in order for uh, my body to be in the same position than it was using the other lens. And this is where I'm standing before. Yeah. And test. Oh, normally the camera body doesn't have anything to do with that. It's like the hardware, it's like how uh, good it is at autofocus, whereas the lens is usually the fixed distance. So it, like this is almost fishbowl-y, like I noticed like if my hand's kind of close. It's kind of warped. My fingers seem long coming at you, right? Long. Um, yeah, so I need to talk to someone who knows what they're doing. At the end of the day, I learn a lot of things with this job, but at the end of the day, I, I didn't go to school for this. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I, I just learn as I go, and so, um, yeah, I'm not seeing a lot online about camera bodies changing the distance, the length, um, of the, the video footage. Um, everyone says that it's the lens, which is what I thought. Um, so maybe you, maybe one of you smarty pants knows what's going on and you can tell me. Please help me. Um, if, if not, I'm gonna have to go see a professional and just... Very confusing. But I'm here. I recorded um, uh, a, a sexy girlfriend Skype roleplay. Uh, it's on my camera road if you want to check it out. Hey, if you want something fun to watch tonight, I have a girlfriend roleplay video <laughs> and I can't talk about it here because it's um, sexual. Anyway, um, this, these lights, these twinkly lights, really far back and they were in shot perfectly. Now I have to have them right behind me because this is zoomed out so much, so you would be able to see the frame that's holding it up. Anyway, sorry for talking to you about my problems. I just want to know if anyone can help. Help me. <laughs>
Hopefully I don't want to have to go see someone in person if I can avoid it. <laughs> COVID has ruined me. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to leave my cozy home. Unless you have an answer, in which case, please comment right down below. Right down below. Is this- is there nothing I can do? Do I just need to get an even more zoomed in lens? Maybe. I don't want to buy any more lenses. They're so expensive. Okay. Shut up, Clover. Shut up. This is a girl. Necklace with a little thingy on top that makes it look like an urchin. And this lady makes jewelry that is entirely inspired by the ocean. So she's got some that look like starfish and coral. It just makes me think of me, yeah. The Walking Dead. pieces are pretty expensive. These are not, luckily. Um, but she's got some. I wanted to get one before those really pretty sort of orangey looking pendant with, uh, like black lace looking stuff that looked like, um, I don't know, like, like a black coral going in the stone. And it had a silver starfish kind of attached. It's hard to really describe. Gorgeous. One of the most beautiful pieces of jewelry I've ever seen in my life. She had a sale going on. One of those shops where they make a select number of pieces every month and then you need to really quickly get on their website when they have a drop in order to perhaps purchase one. And so I set a timer and everything and I got on there as soon as it turned, you know, whatever it was, like five o'clock or something when it went live. Uh, it was almost $700. So, no, no. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Uh, I like jewelry, but I don't like jewelry that much. It's a little insane. Uh, very sad, but you know what? She must put so much work into those pieces. Um, she only makes a couple a month, so I mean, I'm sure it's worth that much um, considering the amount of time she puts into it, but gosh, I, I was pretty surprised. These ones are a little more simple. So, not sad. Now, on my Patreon, I have my Valentine's Day photo set. I rented an Airbnb for the first time, and it was this beautiful building with a very big pillowy white bed, and in the background, which is why I rented this place, it has this gorgeous brick wall. Really, really old-looking brick with, like, kind of grays and rust-colored um, orangey brick. So beautiful. I had a lot of fun taking the photos. It can be a little bit vulnerable, a little bit scary sometimes to have someone take your pictures, but I always leave it feeling more confident and happy and when I see those photos, it makes me just so excited to, to share them with you guys. So I will post, I'll put one up on the side here so you can see it, but if you want to see the rest, they're all going up on my Patreon. This month I posted uh, six today. There's six versions and every day I'm going to be posting a bunch. There's also some Matoko Kusanagi pictures on there right now. It's a great time to check it out. But the Valentine's Day pictures I really, really recommend. I had so much fun and they're, I would say, a higher tier of photos that I normally post just with the new set and some really fun angles and a really pretty red lingerie outfit. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been up to. I hope that you are doing well. All right, now that I am back, um, making 
editing another video, I will have the energy to get back into it again. When you don't do something for a long time, it's really hard to kind of do it. It doesn't matter, like even your favorite hobby, if you don't do it for a long time, sometimes life can just kind of go on and on and on without doing it. And then once you get back into it again, it becomes easier to remember <laughs> to do the things. But yeah, I look forward to recording some roleplays for you guys. And I have some new backdrops that I got. I'm excited to put those down and completely transform my space so I can make some unique videos for you all. I know that I'm planning uh, one where I'm in a restaurant having a dinner date with you. So I'm probably going to be recording that one next week. I'm very, very excited. And I may even have some real food during it. Okay. But I'm going to go now. It is Valentine's Day. I'm going to very quickly edit this. And then I'm going to go make some KDM models. Kingdom Death Monster. I bought some of their pinup uh, figurines, so I'm gonna put those together and have some tea and just enjoy the evening. I'm getting my booster shot tomorrow, uh, so I'm expecting to be pretty sick for a couple days, but then I will be back to normal. So, you take good care of yourself and remember that you are important. You are loved, you are smart, and you are very sexy.